Hello there everyone, and welcome back to the Russo-Turkish War mod for Empire Total War. Today, we're looking at the battle, or the massacre really, of Stara Sargora. Now, I should mention here that these battles, as I mentioned in the last one, are not really recreations. We're doing battles in this mod because there's no campaign that I can play, um, so we're doing custom battles instead, and to give them a bit of a historical context, um, we kind of try to uh, look at battles that actually took part in the war and try to recreate them. It's very hard though because the, you don't have the maps, you might not have the troop variety and stuff like that, and it might be hard to set it up like that. But anyways, we want to give some historical context. So last battle, if you didn't see, have, if you haven't seen part one, we saw the Russian army moving down through Bucharest and down to a battle where they crossed the Danube and fought on the right side of the river banks against an Ottoman force. Uh, today we're looking at a Bulgarian uprising that took part in the town of Stara Sargora. Um, and uh, in the actual battles, in the actual battle or the, in the actual massacre, it wasn't actually that much of a battle, but the Bulgarians, plus a few units from a Russian legion, held out in the town for about six hours against a much superior force of Ottomans. Uh, and the numbers here in the battle will not exactly mimic that, because um, the Bulgarian troops in the mod um, are uh, composed by their militia units, so they're very poor, and so it wouldn't really be a battle. Uh, we wouldn't really be able to do a battle if we sticked to those numbers. So we basically included the civilian numbers as well in the Bulgarian ranks. And uh, right before us here, we can see the Bulgarian unit is not that much different from the Russian unit. It's it it is only got the um, the uh, a, a different hat. So what we used was actually the Russian nation and used the Bulgarian uh, legion within their roster rather than using the Bulgarian nation, which is actually uh, its own within this mod. But the reason why was because we wanted some Russian infantry that also took part in this battle. So we got one of those units right here. And we got another one over here protecting the general unit. So right here we've got the town and I've spread out my men all along here in front. Now we do not have that much of a chance against the Ottoman troops. Because the accuracy difference of the muskets here, even though I think I'm actually out num in terms of actual numbers, I'm actually outnumbering the Ottoman force. And uh, yeah. Uh, I've probably already shown on the map where the battle has is going to take place, um, so you can kind of you can kind of see how the Ottoman army was moving up uh, from down, sort of Constantinople, going up, sort of to meet the Russians coming on, and so these Bulgarians rose up um, as as a part of all these movements. There were so many uprisings and stuff during this time period as I've already mentioned in the first video, and it's kind of complicated getting everything uh, sort of in order and getting everything right, so there might be a lot of mistakes in that in, in that regard. But uh, here we are, so as I said uh, earlier, this wasn't so much of a battle as it was a massacre, because there weren't that many troops, and in fact uh, we have inflated the numbers for the Bulgarians, uh, to include the numbers of the civilians as well. So right now the Ottoman artillery has opened up and we can see the casualties already starting to mount here. The artillery in this mod is very devastating. So in terms of the numbers of casualties, I'm not actually looking at how many the Ottomans lost. Yes, this was one of the things. I want to go through this first. Um, these Bazi Buzuk, or whatever you want to call them, Bazooks, Bazi Buzuks, which is basically, or as I remember it from Napoleon uh, and Empire, 
It's basically thieves and all kinds of really shit people, nasty people, uh, forcefully recruited by the Ottoman Empire, put into um, these units, which would really just rape and plunder units that they'd sent forwards. Not very, very ill-disciplined and uh, very nasty units. And uh, they can hide from my view. And so, as you saw in the beginning, you possibly saw it in the beginning, I had strung out my line along this high ground here. But seeing that I was actually outnumbering the Ottomans, I decided to move my troops forwards, possibly seeing if I could attack them and, the, you know, use my superior numbers to overwhelm the... Um, the superior firepower of the uh, regular Ottoman troops. But that wasn't the case because of all the Bazi Baruch thieves and murderers and rapists that turned up here. And uh, we still have the high ground though. And we can hope that these guys are gonna fail just like Anakin. But uh, it's not looking well. So we've got an Ottoman charge going in straight into here which was kind of foolhearted because it's a unit of over 300 men and they're charging right down the barrel of their guns and the unit of uh, Ottoman cavalry only contains about 80 men so they didn't really stand a chance here but as this is going up the uh, there's a lot of artillery and you can see more Turkish the actual regular Turkish army troops are coming up uh, so far we've only fought the Bazaburuk and the light infantry and the artillery is really blasting us. So I want to pull my troops back towards town to defend down in town. Um, the Bazaburuk's not that good of a unit but the fact that I only had one unit stationed here uh, meant that they were able to concentrate fire upon it and so we've got a small unit of about 60 men that are able to flee um, soon we'll pull back this Bulgarian legion as well, but we can see the troops are falling back to town. So as I said, this wasn't so much of a battle in, in a sense, it was more of a massacre. But the Bulgarians plus the Russian legions did hell out against the Ottoman army, which came with a force of about 40 to 50,000 men strong came to this town. Um, with very few defenders actually in town but the uh, the uh, big thing here is the revenge that the Ottoman army took on the town where they supposedly slayed up to 15,000 Bulgarians and in addition to that took 10,000 uh, women and children as slaves and sold them into slavery and there's all kinds of stuff of the nastiness that went on in the town for three days after the battle where they completely torched the place. Um, so very nasty indeed. So we see the Basi Baruch here advancing in great numbers. And since I extended my lines or moved my lines over here, uh, the Basiburuks is uh, able to outflank me and so uh, the my Bulgarian troops are not faring very well. Also remember that these are um, these are modded onto militia units so they have very poor accuracy. They have 30 I believe so that's not very good compared with I think the normal units of at least the Ottoman army I believe have about um, I think 50 I, th I believe the normal Russian units have 50, so I, I think the Ottomans have similar. And the light infantry has 60 or maybe even as much as 70. So now the regular Ottoman army is marching up. Um, and they're coming closer here. We've got some smaller units of Basi Baruch. I've been able to inflict quite a bit of damage on the Basi Baruch. But um, it seemed quite foolish at this point for me that I pulled up and I should have probably held the town a bit better. I should also note this was the best town that we could find in the mod. I believe that the town is a much, it was much larger than this. Um, 
but uh, this is what we we'll, what we've got to work with. So I'm setting up my Bulgarian troops now, ready to defend the town, as uh, as I know what's going to happen if we let the Ottomans come in. And we are going to do a pretty good defense. Uh, one thing that's really killing us is the Ottoman artillery, which is absolutely hammering us. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that the artillery probably killed around six to seven hundred people each of those two units. So they were able to do a lot of damage. So we got the Basiburuk now. They're actually making a melee charge forwards towards town and uh, the town is able to fire from multiple ranks and the problem with that which I didn't really see at the time of actually recording the video was the fact that the accuracy is so poor that quite a few of these units are shooting each other in the back but we're able to push down enough firepower on the, the two Baziburuk units that moved forwards or Bazi Bazook Bazooks that moved forward and we are killing these absolute bastards murderers and thieves but there's more of them coming we've got two more units here of 600 men plus another of 156 and they're all gonna be laying on to the flank right here now luckily for me I don't think um, I didn't see that at the time but you can see that the elevation of the ground here means that a lot a big part of this unit is hidden from the view of these units and so yeah they probably realize that and they're moving to correct that because uh, three units like that of as many as 700 or maybe even as many as 800 men firing on one unit and you're only having about 20 casualties you kind of realize that you have to reform the lines and we can see the Ottoman army moving up here coming closer into the town and there's not a lot of defenders but we do have the cover of the town which is sparing us a bit from artillery fire and so forth um, I also have beyond the town we have the general stuck in a square back there because I realized that my militia wasn't gonna hold if the general unit died and I've got reserve units here three units that I've been ho uh, keeping here in case the enemy were trying to flank me around this side of town and I do realize there is a cavalry unit here ready to charge in my flank but I see an opportunity to send these three units forwards and then focus in fire on this regular infantry unit and cut them to pieces which I'm also uh, is exactly what I'm going to do I think we're gonna cut them down to every single ma man of this unit um, but here we can see the town is starting to get uh, completely surrounded here as the enemy is moving forward so we've got the Basi Baruks on this side and the regular army units on this side now a lot of the regular army units fire is being soaked up by the buildings and stuff on this side I haven't taken possession of this house because uh, first of all there's not that many minutes to fire out of and I was afraid it would bug out because it's uh, it's sort of hovering above the ground um, but anyways we can go back here then and now they've been faced with artillery fire the man that I moved up and the cavalry unit have moved in the thing about the cavalry in this mod though is they perform very poorly and so we are able to hold them off and just as I said the unit of Ottoman line infantry that were moved up here which I was now able to focus fire with four units moving up here in the flank we're shooting them down to every last single man now there's only two guys left and they too are about to die and here we actually kill the enemy general which is conducting a cavalry charge on the left side of the village and he was part here I don't think he was actually killed in the melee 
because I, I think it was actually fired on by the Russian Legion Square that fired and killed him. So I think he's one of the soldiers' lies over here that sort of pushed through this line. Now I'm pushing these Bulgarians up to meet the Basiburuk in melee. And uh, hopefully, I do think I outnumber the, the Basiburuks there. And hopefully, because the Basiburuks are tired, I will win this melee fight. I can't actually remember. But we can see that the Basiburuk are trying to push in through the village for some rape and plunder. Drawn their swords here, fighting along the windmills. Also, we got another unit coming in over here where the Bulgarians are holding on for dear life. And just as that happens, the Ottoman artillery has tore, torn down two of their houses up there on the right flank. And we can see that there's not many Bulgarians left in town at this point. We've got a small unit there still holding out against the Basiburuk. Four men holding on, doing their best, fighting these guys. They just killed one of the Basiburuks. Let's see if they can kill some more. There's only three guys left. He got one there. Uh, and then I believe we have a smaller unit firing onto these. Um, Basiburuk's not doing well because three really brave Bulgarians here defend their town and uh, now there's only two of them but they are fighting hard there's only one guy left the rest of the unit has decided that they're rather gonna ah oh, there he goes he dies but we have more troops firing in on this position we got a few units over here um, Looks like we won the fight, the melee fight against the Basiburuk, and now we're fighting some cavalry. And I moved over one of the units that was on this side to help out over here against the cavalry. And actually, we are kind of winning on this side. The two cavalry units that were sent forwards have been destroyed, and I still hold control over the left flank. The problem is we got almost a completely fresh unit of Ottoman line infantry moving up. And the artillery has refocused its fire on the Russian line infantry, holding the, a square here. And you can see the, the Bulgarian troops are getting uh, torn to pieces by the, the better equipped uh, Ottoman army, especially by the artillery. And on this side, the, the few units that are held here are now falling back. Uh, and they're being chased by a small number of cavalry. So we're still kind of holding the flank. We've got a few units there, two, about 200 men. A small unit of 31 men over there. And then we've got the Russian uh, uh, support force there, which has now fallen down to 36, 35, 34 men. And shit, the entire unit just blew apart and eight men uh, were left and they're now fleeing for the hills and that town is now littered with Bulgarian soldiers ready to fight for the ooh, they were ready to fight for their freedom to the last breath we got the ah uh, the Basiburuk that was the last of that unit so it was completely destroyed and uh, yeah, we've got two Bulgarian units still remaining in town. Oh, I see this one just actually broke. So now we've got only one unit. And in a desperate attempt to hold the town for as long as possible, I ordered the men to actually take up position within the house at this point. Um, and we're gonna see some fire out of the windows. And we're gonna be able to get some men inside before the uh, the Ottoman troops strike and attack in uh, in uh, fighting these guys melee style and uh, we're also gonna get some people on this side into these windows firing on the Ottomans that are moving up through town over there through the main road that goes through town and so a, a melee battle erupts here but it's not gonna go well for the Bulgarian unit it's uh, fighting a regular army unit and it's outnumbered 
about three to one in this fight. There's about 100 men against 300 Ottomans. Uh, so it's not going well. And the, uh, oh, there we go. The house was lost, so I think the unit gave up. Yeah, the, uh, the Bulgarian legion, or the Bulgarian troops are now retreating away from the town. Only about 30 men, less than 30 men, about 20, I imagine. 23 men managed to escape from that. So now it's down to the very last unit here. So we got the Russian uh, Legion unit formed into square and then we got the general unit of the Bulgarian Legion here in square defended by uh, by um, horse obstacles here on the sides. And uh, I think at this point it's going to take a while for them to get into position. One good thing is the Ottoman artillery is stuck behind. Uh, this is why I formed it on this side of the hill. That they have to move up to be able to get to this. Yes, at this point uh, we start to fire at each other. But the thing is, if you actually go down and look, that both units are actually firing straight into the ground. Because you have to get up to about... Let's see, you have to get up to about this point right here until you can actually fire on the unit. Same with the guys that were firing over here. So we're going to have to wait quite a bit before we are able to open fire on the enemy. Now I'm moving the Bulgarian Legion unit um, to make sure that the general gets to safety back here. But then I realized they're probably going to need the firepower. So I changed it again and set them up like this. So they'll be able to fire upon the, the Ottoman troops uh, as they break through this very thin line of the square. And this unit will be able to inflict quite a bit of damage on the Ottoman units here. Um, probably a bit of friendly fire as well. But you'll see here how the Ottoman commander is about to push the men forwards through the into the square and on to the Bulgarian legion and this melee fights this melee fight right here is going to take a very long time because the Ottomans they have marched from all the way over there uh, fought through the village and now fighting a fr two fresh units so it's going to take a lot of uh, fighting to get through all of these and we've got a small unit that's actually going to set up back here and fire into the back of our unit but we are going to hold for a surprising long time against the Ottoman units the Bulgarians know that they are the last here and they're going to fight like lions to the very end and the Ottoman commander is trying to push forward as many troops as possible here trying to force up troops like you do in in uh, Empire and say medieval where you click the units to march through another so you push all these guys up against each other to make sure that you you get that sort of uh, get a lot of casualties going on both sides but since we are in control of weaker units he's hoping that that would uh, sort of break our morale and force us to flee luckily for me the general of the militia unit, which is... Uh, I'm not entirely sure which one of these guys with the white hat it is. Um, if it's one of... I think those are Russian, actually. Those two. Uh, but somewhere around here, my general is... And he hasn't... I think it's actually this guy. As you can see, he's well protected within the unit. So there's no risk of him dying. Because if he dies, then definitely the units are going to give up. So at this point, the uh, the Russian line unit, for some reason, was able to uh, escape from the melee. And so I formed them into square back here, hoping that we we're going to be able to fire on this line unit. But they were just pulling down too much fire, and the unit was utterly destroyed. Um, and it's actually retreating now, so the Russians are retreating. And here the Bulgarians give way as well. Um, and we're going to follow the Bulgarian commander there. He, he seems to be able to make it out, but we're not sure. So uh, here we got the numbers. Didn't really 
Um, I, 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 as I said, I included the civilians in the numbers of Bulgarians here, but uh, as there's a limit on how many you can have, uh, we had 6,400 against the Ottomans, which had 4,720. And we can see the different losses here. Um, and the unit statistics. I believe this was... Uh, this was not actually the general unit. This was the general unit. And they managed to kill quite a few Ottomans. But you can see after about the third unit here. So the fourth unit down. No, actually we have to go a bit further. Yes, no. The fourth unit here is not actually to uh, kill more than it's lost. So you can see how it did not really go well with the Bulgarians as they were a militia type unit and weren't able to really fight that well. Um, and we can see these units here lost 308 men and only killed 11 enemies. Um, so quite accurate in a sense but it's not really a recreation. Um, anyways. This is it, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and hopefully, I can see you guys for the next one. Bye!